It's always exciting when you get to experience something new, especially when it's the first of something. This is the very first all-electric Lexus. This is the RZ, or since we're in Canada, the RZ450E. You know, Lexus is known for luxury and refinement. We're, we're going to see if this electric version of a Lexus has what it takes to get that badge up front there, that Lexus badge. But another interesting thing, though, is a lot of you guys always comment, why are you always testing the top trims of vehicles? We want to see more base models or mid trims. And, you know, I can't help it. It's whatever's, you know, supplied to me. However, this is the base trim of the RZ. So it's going to be exciting to see what's included. What do you get for your money for the base one? Let's get to it. All right, let's get started. First off, this RZ450E is built on the ETNGA platform. This is the same platform shared with the BZ4X and the Subaru Saltera. But right off the bat, I'm just gonna say this. Out of the three vehicles, I think Lexus has definitely nailed it in the styling department, hands down. Now, style is subjective. Some people didn't like the, the new nose or grill on the new RX. I happen to really like it. And what they've done on this electric version, since it doesn't need a grill, they still have these kind of pleats that were found and they kind of blended in on the new RX. They, they just kind of did a reverse version of it, but as you can tell, there is no front grill here. You do have active grill shutters uh, on here to open and close depending on if it needs more cooling or not. You get the LED light signature that's synonymous with Lexus LED projector lamps. Uh, speaking of lamps and lights, this emblem here, when it gets dark, it lights up, which is really, really cool. Now, depending on what trim level you get, uh, you can actually get this and it's heated. So, because what's behind there are some, a lot of the sensors they've actually incorporated in behind here, but it looks pretty cool. Now, under the hood, unfortunately, this RZ does not have a frunk. You can open the hood, and as you can see here, it is just full of electronics and wires and things like this. So, um, yeah, no frunk, which is a little bit disappointing. Color-wise, I'm not a big fan of white, but I think this works so well with this color. Black and white, you have black contrast all over the place, right below the headlamps here, just in between the bottom uh, valence and the grill area, you have it split up there. The mirrors are black, also the door surrounds, and even the door handles have black accents to them. I think it kind of has a stormtrooper type of look. We have three trim levels in Canada. We have the base signature, which is what we have here. We have the luxury and we have the executive trim. Now the base signature comes with 18 inch wheels like we have here and the other two come with 20 inch alloys. There is a benefit though with the 18 inch wheels and that applies to pretty well all EVs is you get more range, which we're gonna get to in a second. Some of you might know one of my biggest pet peeves on newer cars that have proximity sensors for opening or unlocking the door is a lot of them only are on the front doors. So guess what? This one is, look at that. You can touch the back door to lock if you want. You can grab the, grab the door right there and that's going to unlock as well. Now introduced on the new NX, this RZ also has the e-latch, electronic latch. So when you, they're just behind the door handle, it's just a little bit of a button. You just, just squeeze that and that's it. That simple. Inside you have a button as well. So it's all electronic. Don't worry if your battery goes dead or maybe you're in an accident or something and the latch, the electronics are not working. There are manual releases for the exterior and interior on the actual button and it'll unlatch. And on the outside, there's a latch right underneath the sensor right here. Onto the rear of the vehicle, I really love how the belt line just kind of goes up and then flattens out and the rear here and it gives it looks like a like you have flares of some wheel flares so a lot more presence on the road it looks really grounded for sure and then you have these basically they're kind of like these miniature wings 
or, or horns on the top. Uh, I think it's actually quite unique looking and it looks good, especially with that, that shark fin antenna there. You'll notice there is no rear wiper here, but we have been driving it in the rain, so it hasn't been an issue because you do have quite a bit of overhang to protect from any type of spray. You do have this integrated, uh, a slight lip spoiler in here. And right below that, you'll see the light bar that goes straight across. I like how they've done the light treatment in the back. It looks very, very tidy. It looks pretty uh, elegant, actually. It's very, very thin and uh, it looks clean. Uh, you have the Lexus letters not jumping out saying, boom, look at me either. So yeah, I think it's a, they've done a really good job. Now on this base model here, if we open it up, this does not have a hands-free tailgate because it doesn't even have a power tailgate. The base trim does just a manual lift. Unfortunately, if you get into the next trim level, which we'll talk about what you get on the trim levels in a bit, but you do get the power lift gate there. But we have our travel trunk here. We've always used this as our tester because it's a big, large, large trunk. And I was quite surprised that this fits all vertically. Well, doesn't matter which way I put it down, it will fit. That's without folding those rear seats down at all. So that's pretty impressive in here. So quite a bit of room. Underneath, you do have some storage as well. If we open it up here, we have room for uh, a charger if you want to put your charger. This does come with this 110 volt charger here, it comes with it. We'll put that back, we don't need that right now. We'll talk about the charging times in a second as well. If you fold the rear seats down, you do get a fairly flat area. There is no remote release for those rear seats though. You will have to actually go over top or open the rear doors to fold them down. If you want to take this tonneau cover off, you can just unhook that. It's quite easy. If I can just, and nice thing about this cover, like this and it folds up. So you can actually go and put in your garage or even place it underneath that area, make it nice and wide and open right there. Before we check out the inside, guess who stopped by? Miss Cynthia's here and she has a little bit of a story with this vehicle because uh, we only got it for one day and she had to go pick it up because I was in California on a racetrack. So <laughs> it's it, having fun, I it, was working. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so she picked it up. By the way, uh, welcome. If no one has our baby seen, number this is our three. baby number, well, no, yeah, baby number three, yeah. <laughs> we needed to have a boy. So this is Benny, everybody. Welcome, Benny. So Cynthia, what did you think of this when you picked it up? I was quite pleased once I saw it, and this is the car I'm picking up. Um, the styling is really attractive. And the front end, taken with that aggressive grille with the enlarged headlights, it looks really clean, but it still maintains that Lexus signature look. Yeah, so, you know, for the people that didn't like the, you know, the grills getting bigger and bigger, you know, especially for the Lexus spindle grille, well, this might be the, the alternative for you because it is definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a not a lot neater looking for mm -hmm. sure. And, and, uh, and, the, and the black and white, Cynthia thought, what did, what did you think it looked like? Almost look like, with a particular white color, looks almost like a cute animal, which yeah. is a panda. Panda bear, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, she's thinking it's cute. I think it looks sleek. It's futuristic, not like super futuristic. So I think existing Lexus buyers uh, or, or owners will actually appreciate this. So it's not over the top at all. In the back, a lot of details. I really like all those different angles all staking out. Look at this rear lights, wow. Overall, it has a great design. I really like it. Yeah, I do too. So anyways, I gotta get to work. You guys go inside. See, bye, bye baby. Buddy. Thank you for having us. He's kind of sore. He went to the vet today. <laughs> All right, let's adjust our power seats here. By the way, these are new Lux, it's called. That's the material. It's a, it's a sustainable bio uh, product. And remember, this is the base trim. So it's like a faux leather. So you get this trim uh, of material on both 
the base and the mid-grade trims on the top executive, you get ultra suede. Uh, but this is plenty comfortable. You get standard heated seats on here. Very nice, smooth steering wheel. But the, the one thing that's impressed me is how they handled the use of screens on this uh, RZ. First of all, you have a cockpit-like orientation. You have these brows that come that they basically house your, your air vents, but your screens aren't just like bleh, placed right there. They're integrated nicely into the design. So you have your instrument cluster behind the steering wheel and you have your standard 14 inch uh, Lexus interface. This is a new system that came out with the NX and then the RX had it. So yeah, it's such a better system than any other older uh, Lexus system. It's quite quick. You have uh, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can pair more than one device to it at the same time, which is also very nice. You have cloud-based navigation. You have assistance even. Uh, I'm not connected to a subscription right now, so you'd have to do that if you own the car, but you can do basic things like, um, um, hey Lexus. What do you want to do? I'm cold. Okay, she just went and turned my temperature on for me and she can make it lower. Uh, you would be able to do all sorts of different things depending on uh, what trim a vehicle you have here. This base does not have the panoramic roof, but you can get that in the top trim. You can get this the, the panel roof and it actually has electronic dimming as well. I absolutely love that feature because you can filter out all the harsh sun, yet you can still have light, so you don't feel so closed in. Base trim also gets um, five USBs, they are USB-Cs. We have wireless charging, you get a 10 speaker audio system, and when you get into the uh, luxury and the executive, you get that Mark Levinson sound system, get more speakers, more power. But this one sounds really good. For a stock base system, I think it's excellent. Standard is a heated steering wheel. There's one thing that is missing, in this interior and that is there is no glove compartment there's no storage area in front of the passenger which is kind of odd but you know what who uses it anyways if you use it you're gonna miss it uh, but you do get this middle console i do like that it is operated by if i can find it here <laughs> you can operate this from either side so that's really handy for either passenger or if you're even coming uh, uh, through from the rear, you can open it, however. But why is there no glove compartment? Because this is equipped with a heat pump as well as radiant heat. So there is a radiant heater in place of that. And what that does, it allows the cabin to heat up a lot quicker, uh, basically right by your feet. And that ha you know handles your feet and your legs. And that's really good. And it uses a lot less power actually than even the heat pump uses. So uh, it makes everything more efficient. If you do want a little extra storage though, you do have this pass-through that goes straight through here. It's not very high. You have additional 12 volt outlet in that pass-through area. Thank you Lexus for retaining actual knobs for temperature control and for volume. A couple other things that you can get or what are coming on the RZ. If you go to the higher trim level, you can get a digital key, meaning you don't need the key fob. Uh, you do need to have your subscription activated for that. We don't have that activated on this one. Also available, 10 inch color head up display, a digital mirror. Uh, this one does not have that. And coming to North America is a drive by wire, or steer by wire steering system and the most unusual thing, you might have seen it in some pictures, here are a few images here. Instead of a, a standard steering wheel, it's going to utilize a yoke. Yes, you know, old Knight Rider style. I'm dating myself. If you know what Knight Rider is, leave a comment or give me a thumbs up for the Knight Rider reference. So uh, you'd have this yoke and there's a couple things different about that yoke. First of all, it's going to allow you to have better visibility. That's why, you know, Formula One cars, they're flat on the bot on the top because they, they want to have better vision. They sit really low. So uh, less things to be obstructed with a, a yoke so you can see your gauges better. I have no problem with this, by the way, either, but that system 
the drive-by wire will have a different ratios depending on your speed as well. So you could, you don't even ever have to go hand over hand doing tight turns when you're doing, going in, you know, driving slow in a parking lot with the yoke. Just that much and you can go lock to lock. And that's pretty amazing. And it's going to adjust. And in case you're wondering, hey, it doesn't sound safe, they have redundancies on this system, not only uh, redundant systems, they even have a backup battery. Just in case all else fails and you lose complete power, you have a separate electronic system just for the steering itself. So uh, that's gonna be coming out when we get one. We're definitely gonna try that out. I'm looking forward to that. Plenty of room back here for three passengers for sure. You have the slightest little raised area on the floor, otherwise it's completely flat. But check out how much room we have for leg room back here. This seat is set to where I would sit. I'm almost five foot 11, slowly shrinking though, but lots, like a ton of room back here. So much room, headroom. Really, really decent con considering it looks like it slopes down from the outside, but they did a really good job of this. These seats do not slide back or forth though, unfortunately. There's our other two USBs. We have a 12 volt outlet. We have air vents here. This does not have uh, rear climate control though. And this base trim does not have heated uh, seats in the rear, but I'm really impressed with the amount of room. If you want your RZ to use for carrying passengers often, this is really gonna work for you. Uh, I had the kids in here briefly just to drive them to school and you know, it was short, but if I have no problem with it, they're not gonna have any problem with it. We talked about the e-latch system on the outside. Another big advantage of that system though, it can work with the safety system of the vehicle. If there is an oncoming car coming behind you or maybe a bicycle, it will actually not only alert you, but it can actually control and stop you from opening the door right into uh, traffic. So that's quite safe. And yeah, otherwise if it is safe, you just hit that button, get out. What's it gonna cost you to get into a new RZ? Well, in Canada, as mentioned, we have three trims. We have Signature, Luxury, and Executive. The base trim is the Signature, which we have here, and I'm really impressed by how much content, how many standard features this base trim has, and the starting price. I, I was expecting it to be higher. It's under $65,000 in Canadian dollars. So remember, if, if you live in the US or other another country, check with your local website because you'll probably have different prices. I know you have different prices. So um, yeah, lots of content there. If you want to go up one trim, which is the luxury, that's going to cost you an additional $8,600. But you do get quite a bit for that. You get the panel roof, you get the 20 inch wheels, uh, the Mark Levinson sound system, but more importantly, you get the power lift gate and the 360 camera. I really wish that you could get that on the base trim. That would be one of those things that I would probably have to go with the luxury trim just to get those items. You know, it'd be nice if you can get them as an option, standalone option. I'm not sure yet. There's no build sheet on this on the website yet. But if you want everything thrown in, the top of the line, which is the executive, that's going to run you just under 81,000 Canadian dollars. But um, yeah, once again, lots of content for under 65 grand. You're getting a premium vehicle. Tons of room. You can put three golf bags in the back of the cargo area. So much room in the second row. This would be good for a family as well. Um, yeah, it has everything other than 360 camera and the power lift gate. There's our look at the very first all electric Lexus. What do you think? Leave a comment below. While you're there, hit that bell notification so you'll know when the next video drops because this will be the next video as well. We have part two coming up on this RZ450E. And on that one, not only are we gonna share our drive impressions, of course, we all know that it's gonna be quick, it's gonna have lots of torque, and it's gonna be quiet. That's Across the board, all electric cars are like that, but there's a lot more to go over with this. Of course, this is a Lexus. Is it as refined or even more refined now that it's electric? The signature base trim that we have here uh, is rated for 354 kilometers, and that's because we have the 18-inch wheels. 
Also, we're gonna share with you our real world efficiency and range, how to get the most out of your new Lexus electric vehicle. And this direct four all wheel drive system now with two E axles, there's no gasoline engine in this. Remember, uh, it should be quicker, right? Yes. So does that make this Direct4 system the best all-wheel drive system that Lexus offers? Well, we're going to find that out, plus a lot more on the next video. See you then. Cheers.